Hey, I'm Andrew Skirka with Sierra Designs. When hiking on trails, one of the navigational techniques I use most often is dead reckoning. Dead reckoning is a way that I predict my estimated time of arrival at future landmarks like a campsite or a water source or a trail junction. Just as importantly, I also use it to rule out landmarks along the way that could be misleading. So for example, a fault summit. To dead reckon, you need a watch and you need to know a physics formula from high school, distance equals rate times time. To start dead reckoning, you need to be at a known location. In this case, we're at the Sprague Lake Trailhead. And the next piece of information I need to know is the distance to my next landmark. You could use trail signage to figure this out if it's available. Uh, you could also use a printout from a guidebook, or you could measure distances on your topographic map. You might also have a data sheet for popular long trails like the Appalachian Trail. And then finally, you might be able to use a GPS if it's traveling, if your route is in a really straight line. In this particular case, we're a half a mile away from the Sprague Lake campsite. And typically on easy trails, I walk at about three miles an hour. So it should take us about 10 minutes to get there. Let's get started. Okay, 10 minutes, just as about as I was expecting. This was a really straightforward example. It was a short distance, it was a flat and level trail. But when you're out in the field, you have to expect that your uh, dead reckoning might be a little bit different, especially if you're hiking at high elevations or if you're hiking on trails that are steeply down or steeply up, and finally trails that might be really rugged and rocky. You're gonna be going slower on all of those surfaces. You might also have to tweak the formula distance equals rate times time depending on the information that you know. So for, for example, in this case, we knew that it was a half mile to this landmark and then I walk at about three miles an hour. In another case, I might be walking for say 40 minutes and know that I walk at about three miles an hour. In that case, I know I've hiked about two miles. Overall, dead reckoning is a really simple concept, but I can't understate its value when you're out here. It will really help you to be aware of where you are at all times and also to avoid navigational mistakes when you're out hiking.